morning. Uh, thank you for joining me for our yoga practice today. Um, big smiles, loving it. Um, okay, so today we are talking about the power of compassion. Uh, we have a lot going on in our country and in our world right now. And um, I was watching the town hall a couple of days ago and Obama pointed out that this country was founded on protest and every major movement and change that this country has gone through for the better started with protest, um, starting with the American Revolution, our founding fathers, uh, and, and multiple stages along the way as our country grows and evolves and uh, as uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, has said, uh, and I'm gonna sort of misquote but paraphrase, but the, the arc over the arc of time, it, been, it bends towards justice. So overall becoming um, better and better. And um, what, uh, what's underneath all of that, the sort of the call to action, you know, and anger, <clears throat> because anger is an intelligent emotion. It's a signal that something needs to change. And it um, is a precursor to the energy that, com that comes to us to enact something. <laughs> and if our, and if that energy is channeled uh, effectively, uh, the change that we want is more likely to happen. And, um, and pointing out that underneath, even the, the reason that folks want to, that the folks get angry and want to rise up and call for change, underneath that, it's all because we want, they want, we want uh, the suffering of others to be reduced. We want our own suffering to be reduced and we want other suffering to be reduced. And that is what compassion is. Uh, the true desire for others' happiness and reducing their suffering. And when we um, get angry, hi, hi, Lucia. <laughs> when we get angry and we have a call, you know, we have this sense and call for action, it, you know, and we have this feeling come over us, it's sort of, it's like a fire or a bomb. <laughs> and what comes from that burns or explodes and, dissipates. And then what? What will keep us engaged in the work and keep us engaged in the struggle? Uh, what keeps, what has kept our mighty heroes like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Mandela and Gandhi and our founding fathers and our leaders who have really um, led the charge and um, had created mighty shoves in history. Um, what has motivated them has been compassion. And that's what motivates uh, every honest worker in, the, in uh, the struggle and the fight and the work and staying engaged. And that is, that is how and why that is how we see compassion 
is so powerful. Um, and it's not just, I mean, that can be seen in moments like these when we, um, when folks call, uh, meet the charge, you know, and work and act and keep going. Um, it's also evident in our everyday lives. Um, how many times have you heard or even said yourself, um, what keeps me going in a particular time that is difficult is, the, is caring for someone else. Um, like that, like this is this is what keeps me going now. Is this is this person that I'm caring for? These people that I'm caring for, and that's what um, you know. When I've had difficult days and I didn't want to get out of bed, you know, it was it was compassion that got me up out of bed, <laughs> Turn, turning the focus away from myself and my own. Um, story and and suffering, which can be real and pain, um, is real sometimes. But realizing that my me and my individual self, uh, I'm not the only one who experiences suffering. <clears throat> Everyone, every sentient being in the world does, uh, and. When we turn our focus to, towards everyone and expand our sense of self uh, to include others, we, we find that, we, that that's powerful and we're able to act. And when we engage with folks uh, from a compassionate point of view, knowing that they have suffering too, um, and wanting their suffering to be reduced, we can engage with them and meet them where they are when, when they're angry or they can't hear and they can't see and do our best to meet them where they are to engage and, uh, and move forward. So enough said about that. Today, uh, we are going to, oh yeah, Mother Teresa, that's right, Angie. And you can, you can think of all sorts of people through history that um, were so powerful because they were motivated by compassion. Uh, so let's cultivate that in our practice today. Uh, bring ourselves to our mat in this moment. And settle in. We might close the eyes. Bring ourselves into this space, noticing the weight of our bodies on the ground. Noticing our breath. <clears throat> noticing the mind. And allowing whatever thoughts or feelings that are there to just be without judgment, without reacting, but with a loving kindness and acceptance. And knowing that we don't have to be attached to the rise and fall of thoughts and feelings, but meet them with loving kindness. And bring that loving awareness to our being. The body, as it moves and rocks with the rhythm of the breath. As it is supported by the earth. Allowing that to be. And beginning to lengthen the breath. And 
inhaling deeply into the body, allowing the chest and belly to expand and contract with the rhythm of the breath. And on the next inhale, you might open the eyes 